it's just Yara. welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new i'm so excited about this video because i have been itching to show you guys my new sofa i feel like every other social media platform that i'm on have seen this sofa except you guys so i'm so sorry i came to you guys last if you guys are new to my channel and you don't know who i am hello my name is just Yara Murray. i'm 21 years old from london i'm a fashion lifestyle and home content creator and a full-time mom to my daughter Amara. Welcome to my channel if you're new, if you like home, fashion, lifestyle content then consider subscribing. I'm so excited to show you guys my new sofa. This is just a little intro to let you guys know that this is a paid for advertorial with Sofa Club so this sofa has been gifted. Full transparency, I will leave everything down below if you guys are interested in the details and the specs of this sofa and Sofa Club. So let me just tell you guys a little bit about the journey. So if you are new to this channel, if you're new to the Home of Just series, I created Home of Just because I I've been living in this rented property this rented flat for over a year now and it wasn't looking the way that i wanted it to and as someone that works from home it is incredibly important to me that my environment is bright and airy and just a place that is not only enjoyable for myself but enjoyable for my daughter because my daughter obviously she's lived in this property for over a year she was raised here i want this place to be as much as a home for her than it is for me and for friends and family that come around. So, so the whole series has just been me decorating and doing as much as I can to rent a property um, as possible. The old sofa you guys will see in this video was just too big, it was too dark, it was stained, it was dirty, it was ripped, it was just, unfortunately it was just wasn't nice, it wasn't nice. Um, it was given to me from my sister when I first moved here, but guys, having a six month old to having a nearly two year old, because I moved in here when she was six months, now she's almost two. It, the sofa's been for a lot of stains, it's been for a lot of rips it's been for a lot of spit ups and food and snacks and everything like that so that's that sofa just had to go so you guys will see that in this vlog that we got rid of it it's in the recycling center so r.i.p to her but now we have a new addition to the family so this is the savoy sofa and it is in the color pebble beach i love this color i was gonna go with one called oyster white i think it is basically a cream color and i thought that would go with the decor more but i was wrong Pebble Beach is the perfect colour for this living room. It goes with the walls, it goes with the curtains. It's not too dark, it's not too light. And with the cushions, it contrasts and it's absolutely amazing. So I'll leave the specs for this down below. It is a three-seater sofa, the perfect size for all of us. It's easy assemble. It literally unclips and clips back in. So if you guys need to hoover the sofa, you can wash it in the washing machine at 20 degrees and the stains will come out. I'm excited to do that. I don't know what, I'm just such a clean freak. Anyway, I'm obsessed with this sofa. So again, thank you so much Sofa Club. If you guys are interested in this sofa in particular, I'll leave it down below and a link to the website as well so you guys can shop. If you guys are in need of a sofa for your property, they have them at every single size, single sofas, two seaters, three seaters, four seaters, U shape, L shape, whatever you need, they have it. I'm gonna stop talking now and let you guys watch the rest of the vlog. I really hope you enjoy it. And let me know what you guys think of the sofa and that's all. Yeah, enjoy the video. We are finally sofaless after trying to redo the sofa to just giving up. We're here. The carpet is dirty. <laughs> we get any sofa to borrow. We get any sofa to borrow. We get any sofa to borrow. <laughs> You don't want to get food all over it. <laughs> Mum will kill oh, you. Oh, please, I know, I know. The last one was good. Just yeah, but the thing is, a sofa club is good because it's easier wipe. Easier wipe, but that's oh, why I went so with it, yeah. Good. And when you take them off, you can wash them at 20 degrees. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, come off. beautiful. I'm telling you, I'm That's like music to my ears. <laughs> Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys the table before. If you haven't seen us do the table, like how we did it prior, guys, <laughs> this table has been on a journey. Excuse the cables and the football and everything. But um, basically we did this table. I got it for five pound at a charity store. So an absolute steal, I love this table, but we ended up not liking how we did it and just the final, look of it it just was not what we were going for so we decided to go for concrete and to try and attempt to do a diy concrete table so that's what i'm about to do now corey's going to do a food shop so i'm going to attempt to do it whilst he is gone um i just have to think of how i don't know if i can just cover these bits because this is just the table cover like this was what it looked like before i just ripped it all off um i was going to do the legs but 
I don't know, one step at a time. We'll see if I can do just this top bit by myself um, and cover it. Because as you guys can see, this is it's just cardboard, it's MDF. Um, and it's just been staining. You can see my daughter's handprints everywhere, cups and everything. But yeah, that's what I'm going to attempt to do now. We'll see how the process goes. You guys are just going to watch this in time lapse. Look at my beautiful plants. That is my birthday flowers. Um, I'm about to watch them YouTube and get this done whilst everyone is out of my hair. The feather on the turtle's back broke the shell. Back then there was a time I thought we prevailed. Fast for a present day, it ain't going well. Don't have time for loss. I gotta cut you off. Don't know what you've been on. Me, I've been running a marathon. Yo, you just hold me back. Said you'd hold me down. I have to interject here. This is where I completely went wrong. Guys, I went to b and and I got concrete, not cement. Concrete as in with the gravels, with the stones. So I messed this up completely. The table looks completely different now. I'll show you guys, but I just want to leave this clip in to show you guys that it is indeed a learning progress. And I did this completely wrong, but you'll see, you'll see. Um, I was wondering, I was, why is it coming out with stones? Why is it coming out with stones? So I just use my hands. Again, do not make the same mistake I did and just get cement, just get cement. I really thought they were the same thing. Broke the shell, back then there was a time I thought we prevailed. Fast forward, present day, it ain't going well. Don't have time for loss, I gotta cut you off. Don't know what you've been on, me I've been running a marathon, yo. You just hold me back, said you'd hold me down. Down, yeah. But bitch, I'm tired. See through your pride, no, no And I'm tired I tried being nice Now I think it's time so Counting the lies I'll be surfing the silence Stay up my mind And I'm tired I know it would save me time If I just hit the climb Doubt me when I say I'm about to Do the day You see the leaf? It's dry. Yeah, so now we need to spray it and we need to make it wet. With some help? Ready? Ready? You did it straight, stand up. Oh, good job. Ready? Can you hold it? Ready? One, two, three. Shh. <laughs> Yeah, look, let me show you. You know what we use in a Mars head to spray a Mars head? We use it to wet the plant. So see, we've got to make sure that the leaves are nice and hydrated. You see, and the roots. <laughs> Now, let me turn 
square my little look you can't see amara helped me make a coffee guys so what happens we always make coffees in the morning with my daughter amara she just loves being involved in making the coffee um so this time obviously because i was filming i had the tripod in the kitchen and the, our kitchen isn't too big so she heard the coffee machine and she came running and kind of just stared at me like mom how dare you not involve me so i had to put her in anyway i was editing this video and it was ready to go live today you guys are going to see it today um ignore the noise in the background tomorrow is excited um you guys were going to see it today but also excuse i literally just woke up you have to excuse me um rip pocket and everything yeah i was going to put it live today but i was going back because obviously i filmed this a while ago my phone storage has been a bit messy this is why people have laptops and edit on laptops but i know i've always edited on my phone i've never had a problem with it until now and half of the footage of like after the guys brought in the sofa so like me styling it and me like me and Corey moving it from the position that they put it in to the middle of the room where it is now it's gone um footage of us removing our old sofa is gone so i just the long story short i'm just going to show you guys where the sofa is i'm going to give you guys a mini living room tour um and show you guys the comparison as to what it looked like before if you guys haven't been here before on my channel um because this living room has undergone the biggest transformation out of everywhere in the rest of the flat obviously the rest of the flat has not had love to it at all um my daughter's room is going to be painted she's got a new wardrobe but yeah like we don't know if we're gonna do the rest of the flat obviously because it's more money and time and painting this place took forever long story short i'm just going to show you guys the living room i'm going to show you guys the sofa i'm going to show you guys what you can do with the sofa because Again, I filmed clips of me removing the pillows and the cushions to show you guys how you can clip it in and clip it off. I'm just going to do that again for you guys so you can see. Um, and that's all. I'm going to show you guys the shelves as well and a sneak preview of the dining table that Corey kindly did last night because um, I think I said in the video already that I did a bad job. Like, first of all, I got cement. No, not cement. I got concrete, not cement. I didn't know they were two different things. I really thought they were the same thing. I know silly on me um so i went to being cute and i got some i was gonna get the big bag of cements but i was like no let me just get the pre mixed mixture which it ended up just to be concrete that you use on the ground for gravel or headstones and i was confused i was like what's going on as you guys can see in the video that i put already i was just mixing it around and it wasn't doing anything it was stony i was like what's going on so i just mixed it with my hands the first layer looks nice but it came to because you guys see the table the dining table is round so if the table was square it would have been much easier to do with the cement but it was so difficult guys i wish i, I don't know if i took a picture of it what it looked like before corey redone it but it was a butch job for me it doesn't look it didn't look the way that i wanted it to but now corey went back outside last night he literally was outside for like four hours doing the table and now all he has to do is like sand it down a bit and put on this seal to make sure that obviously we don't eat cement because we're going to be eating when it's a dining table um at my laptop about to answer some emails um amara and corey is in her bedroom um and then yeah the last clip is going to be a little living room overview with our complete furniture kind of we're only needing dining chairs now and then this chair that I'm on is going to go in my bedroom and be used for my vanity. And then I'm just going to get a different office type chair, even though this one's so comfy, but it's too big. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any recommendations for places where we can get nice dining chairs, because I was going to go for the rattan style, but that's just so overdone. I do not want my home to look the same as everybody else's, even though, yes, it's lovely, but I, just, I cannot. That's why I got a vintage dining table because i was like i don't want to get a modern dining table that everybody has anyway let me stop talking um yeah enjoy the rest of the video of course i start off by removing a toy of the sofa there's never not toys on the sofa so i'm just going to show you guys how i built the sofa from start to finish with the cushions the cushions are easy removable as you can see you can literally can just chuck them off and chuck them back on it's really easy when you hoover and then the thing i love about this sofa is that it's so easy to assemble and it's comfortable and um, it's so easy to assemble literally the cushions have these clips that i will show you guys in a second they've got these clips that you literally just hook onto each three corners of the sofa you literally just clip it on and clip it off if you want to hoover the sofa or clean it or wash it it's so easy to come off and it's so easy to put back on 
and then I'm just going to show you guys how I built it. I love the shape of the sofa. I love how flat it is and square. And then the cushions are like round. They're like clouds. They're absolutely gorgeous. And then that's the sofa. That's how I style it. And this is the living room as of today. We moved everything around. We used the packed unit to accommodate my daughter's toys because as a toddler she has a lot of toys and then there's our tv we're planning to mount it on the wall but we don't know if we're going to do that yet and then as you go into the corner of the living room there is my new plant she is absolutely beautiful i love her so much i'm going to get a little stand to elevate it a little bit because it's a bit too low for my liking i want it to be a bit higher um if you guys have any tips on how to look after birds of paradise let me know and then you swivel around there's the sofa in all its glory and then we've got these two cushions the mirror's right there by the way hey guys um we've got these two cushions that go either side of the sofa my lamp sorry i'm like disjointed the two cushions that's on the floor my daughter loves to lay on them they're just like something somewhere for her to sit they go either side of the sofa where you guys can see right now but she just likes to sit on them so we just put them there for her and then this is my little nook where i work and edit from and from youtube videos and everything and then my shelf is not where it's at right now like it's just a bit of a mess you guys because we've been doing diys we've been building table we've been doing concrete it's been a mess again hey guys um <laughs> yeah it's just been a mess so there's lots of disjointed stuff on the shelves but the shelves are looking beautiful i cannot wait for autumn winter to decorate her properly and then this is where the dining table is going to go i'm going to show you guys what the dining table currently looks like Corey also spray painted amara's high chair legs gold but we ran out of spray paint so that happened but yeah my curtains make this place look so much bigger i'm obsessed with it for my kit and then i'm going to show you guys what the dining table currently looks like so this is the table currently we are planning on sanding it down a little bit Corey done it last night so all we have to do is sand it that's why it's in our entryway i love how it looks it i just cannot wait to gloss it over and smooth it out and seal it and i'll show you guys in the next home with jess what it looks like Feather on the turtle's back, broke the shell Back then there was a time, I thought we'd prevail Fast forward, present day, it ain't going well Don't have time for loss, eh. I gotta cut you off eh. Don't know what you've been on, me I've been running a marathon, yo yeah. You just hold me back, said you'd hold me down yeah. But bitch, I'm tired See through your pride, no, no And I'm tired I tried being nice Now I think it's time Counting your lies I'll be surfing the silence Stayed up my mind And I'm tired I know it would save me time If I just hit the climb